Welcome back! MTG Joe here and Strixhaven is upon us. Uh, the new set dropped. Uh, we didn't get early access, so we are here. We're gonna be playing a brew, couple brews, a uh, mix of play ranked and, uh, sorry, play and, uh, and ranked ladder, um, depending on how well we think the decks are. We'll be doing a bit of historic and standard to go get going. If you do have any decks that you do enjoy so far, drop them in the comments. Let me know what's working for you, what's not. Haven't had a lot of time to explore it, so Really interested to see what the community is putting together. Um, just as we preface into this deck, uh, Wizards did give me some codes uh, to give away for packs of cards. So I will put those in the video description um, for this YouTube video. I don't have a lot of codes, um, so I'll post a couple there though. Uh, they are single use, so once they're used, they're used. So apologies, it's probably the fairest way I can give them out. Um, but if you want, you just go to the store, you redeem them. Uh, as always, whenever I get these codes, I give them out to the community. So thank you for the support. Uh, so what we have up here is a deck that I'm really interested to see how it plays out. This is a mono red storm list uh, from Yeoman5. Uh, if you haven't checked out Yeoman before, check him out on Twitter. He does uh, 50 deck lists for every new set. Lots of ideas there. Um, so this is built around a card called Grape Shot. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Storm, it's one of the most busted mechanics in Magic. Uh, and this is part of the Mystical Archives set for Historic. Um, so whenever you cast a spell, you get to copy it for each other spell you cast this turn. So if you cast 10 spells for the turn, you get to copy this 10 times. And Grape Shot is basically 2 mana, deal 1 damage. But you keep casting spells, you build up what's called Storm Count, and then you basically one-shot your opponent. You Grape Shot them. Um, so within this deck, there is an infinite combo. Um, so with Bergy out, uh, and Grinning Angus on its own, you basically get infinite casts. So Bergy... Uh, let's you whenever a you cast the red spell you get to generate a red mana grinning ingus is a three mana creature so when it enters the battlefield it would trigger bergy you gain one red mana and then you could return uh grinning ingus to your hand and generate three mana um and then you can recast grinning ingus so eventually you create a loop where you get infinite cast so you build up infinite storm count and then you, if you have two mana left over you can grape shot your opponent now, if you have Hazard's Monument, Hazard's Monument makes our red spells cost one less. So you can technically do this on turn three, Bergy and Grinning Ingus on turn four, and this lets you generate infinite colorless mana. Um, and it also lets you loot through your deck. Um, if you have a Runaway Steamkin, that generates your red mana. So there's a way to do it like that as well. So it's a lot of kind of cool synergies here. So Runaway Steamkin generates more mana. Magmatic Chandler can help us sort through the top of our library, help us find combo pieces. Uh, we have a bunch of cyclers in Crash Through and Warlord's Fury, along with a reprint of, or an introduction of Faithless Looting. Uh, this card lets you cast it for one, draw two, discard two, and then you can cast it from your graveyard for its flashback cost, which is three mana. Uh, and then we have some Frostbites as interaction um, with our Snow Mountain. So I'm gonna play this in best of one. I'm just going to put this in play. I want to see how this actually plays out. Um, I'm not the best Storm player. I've played some EDH kind of Storm decks, but they're generally easier to demonstrate an infinite loop uh, through combo pieces. But let's see how it goes. Got a couple cool decks here that we're going to try out today. Um, so do let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see, anything of that nature, and we can definitely get into it. Um, the unfortunate thing is without early access, we don't get this kind of fun way to brew um half the combo in hand i think we try it out this could be all right well our hand's pretty redundant Let's see if they take the combo piece faithless looting is a very powerful card as well it's banned in modern as we wait for the opponent to decide as always if you do enjoy the content want to show your support it would be greatly appreciated if you could drop a comment, like, or subscribe on the YouTube channel. All are free and easy ways to help out. Apologies if you hear my dog in the background. She's going through what appears to be a midlife crisis. This is actually pretty good because if they go Arcanist here, I have a play. Um, they could have been holding that up for like Fable Passage. So we're going to go Monument next turn and then potentially have a combo in place. Um, I think we're going to get rid of 
frostbite here. Yikes. A lot of discard right now. So storm decks, you usually want a critical mass of effects. Um, we're not like the modern version that can play out of our graveyard. So we can Faithless Looting next turn. Jeez, opponent. So opponent most likely is also on Faithless Looting in their build. They could have also brought in Inquisition of Kozilek. This doesn't get cost reduced. Red Creatures. Um, five cards. I think we're still just doing this. Jeez, opponents had it all this game. So they're going to Croxa next turn. I think we just bring this out. If they draw, if we draw Bergy, we can then go off. Dreadhorde claim, Bedevil like. So, so one thing to note: Storm Count cat um, takes your opponents as well. So if your opponent casts a bunch of spells, you also get that value. Um, that was an interesting line. They could have killed my Grinning Ingus. So I think we're just going to hold this land in hand. Could have Fatal Push here. Pretty bad. I think opponent's got it. That was three Croxas, two Thoughtsies, tore apart our hand. So run it again. So you can kind of see how the elements play together. We are one card away, actually. If we had drawn Bergy that turn, we would have won. Um, so it's kind of cool how you could win out of nowhere with the deck. Them having their likely one of the devil, it's kind of unfortunate. I think we keep this. Chandler can help us dig. We can find a land, potentially. So next turn we go Chandler into Hazard's Monument. Ooh. While I like Steamkin, I think we do it the turn after Monument. Opponent might be on some control. Brainstorm also introduced to the format. A lot of powerful, powerful cards. Because then Steam King costs one, we can get it out of potentially Clarion range. How Storm works as well is it creates copies on the stack. So they can counter one, but they don't get to counter each iteration of it. So they would need something, I don't even think Whirlwind Denial does it. Okay, can we go off? So let's discard Chandler. Let's discard the land. Discard the land. Let's get Warlord's Fury. So here we can crash through. I don't want to discard any of these cards because this can help me loot.
So we'll discard this. So I can grape shot them for five, which actually isn't terrible. But I think we just wait. If they have a Wrath of God, then we're in pretty bad here. Grinning Ingus with these two out would have worked. Nice. Mizzix Mastery back. So they kill my two Steamkins probably. Okay, so what's happening here? So they're dealing for... Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> but the tap doesn't really matter. Okay. So here... Start Warlord's Fury. Let's see what we get in hand. Faithless Looting. Okay, so we got Bergy. Um, so I think we can ditch the land for now. Let's make mana. Cast Bergy. Will decline here. So I could looting back out of the graveyard. I can cast Grape Shot. It's not enough. We're short a spell. So here I can, we can Faithless Looting, but I don't get anything back. I think we attack with both. So I can use this, doesn't really do much. Actually, it's a free spell. Sorry, there's like a lot of just kind of plays here. Shouldn't have discarded that grape shot. I'm one mana off. Because I can target my own thing, it deals three. I think we do that anyways. We're still short. Okay. Because you only get it for the turn. So we just might not ever get another turn. We've gotten parts of the combo, just not the full combo. Yeah, now they're probably just going to take every turn. Or at the very least, find a sweeper. Can I get one more turn opponent? Every card just draws like a ton of cards. With only 34 cards, I'm guessing they also play All Ren's Epiphany. At this point, they're going to likely find it. Okay, so a little bit of a miscue there on our part. Maybe we want Mizzix Mastery. Let's us play everything out of the graveyard. 
We generate a lot of mana. Oh, half the combo in hand. Need one card. See if we pull it off this time. Second monument's not that good. It does give us something to discard if needed. Oh, would have loved that. Okay, so they're probably Simic turns. So this will be a really interesting matchup. So next turn, I have access to quite a bit of mana. I can start with Steamkin. Ooh. Oracle. Okay, so we're now, we know we're doing this. Let's discard the monument. We know we're doing this. Discard the land. This is free to cast. Okay, so next turn we win. So if they can't go infinite, we win next turn. So they have all runs. They can play two lands. Give me a turn, opponent. Give me a turn. Okay. Could be no turn. Bye, friend. All right, so now we need to do this 20 times. Decline. Um, maybe we should loot for another grape shot just in case. If they have like pact negation. This just gets the storm count up. Alrighty, we're gonna get it done. Get it done. Definitely not the fastest combo. This is in paper when you're just like, okay, well, I do this X amount of times. Show him the grape shot in hand, ask if you can go to game two.
So here are basically infinite mana, infinite draw equal to our deck, or looting at least. Jeez. This is definitely like the deck you're going to get Carpal Tunnel. Discard here. Casual 26 mana. Give me another grape shot. Man, they are really just oh, okay. There we go. One more. I gotta kick, click 20 times. Okay, so with Pact of Negation, we could have just done one extra trigger. <laughs> they probably have to click Resolve all through the stack as well, which is awesome. Bye, friend. Alrighty, Mono Red Storm. We pulled it off. Couple tries. Um, there's a couple games where we were like one or two pieces off. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be, to be honest. Um, the problem is it gets pretty hosed by Narset. Uh, you get hit by creature interaction as well so if they kind of kill your creatures but if you can kind of go off you go off and we saw there like the opponent let their guard down for one turn um they were basically about to get every single turn possible and then we just 22 them in one turn lots of clicks so i'm gonna wrap this one up uh, i just wanted to give a kind of quick demo gameplay of the deck itself uh, we will be playing the opponent's turns deck my version of it as well but appreciate the support. If you do have any comments, questions, uh, if you can, like I said, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way to helping out the channel, and it's absolutely free. Um, as mentioned at the beginning, there'll be a couple of codes for packs in the video description. You can check it out there, and hopefully you're one of the first to get it. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, and we'll catch you next time.